Good evening, I'm Matt Mulcahy. We all carry next generation smartphones, but did you know in an emergency when you dial 911, the system receiving your call has not yet reached the next generation? Onondaga County's 911 center is the sixth busiest in the Northeast, yet it relies on cellular networks that are not keeping pace with technology when it comes to mobile. Let's spell it out here and tell you why it's critical. The 911 center answers more than 618,000 calls a year. Out of all those calls, seven out of ten come from mobile phones. That makes it critical for the 911 center to be able to instantly zero in on the location of your call. New at 11, we go inside the 911 communications center to see how people and technology work together to find out where you are when you call for help. The call for help, a person in need. More than 70% of the calls coming into Onondaga County's 911 are coming from mobile. You have an accident on um, you know, 690 or 81 or the throughway. We're going to get multiple calls on it. Bill Bliley is the 911 commissioner. Last year we handled just shy of 600,000 calls. And that's a lot of calls. And I don't hear of a lot of, I don't hear of instances where we couldn't get to people. Now, I, you know, I know that, you know, if you call 911, there's a, we are most likely going to get to you. When 911 started in our community, all calls were landlines with addresses attached. Mobile brings new challenges. Smartphones with GPS have helped, but network technology has lagged not yet able to zero in because systems are still changing from analog to digital. That's where 911 call takers come into play. Okay, we have five minutes notified. Location is the first thing we ask when we answer the phone call. We may very well have the greatest confidence of where you are, but we're going to ask you where you're located. We're going to ask you what the cross streets are. We walk the floor of the 911 center for an up-close look on the work of call takers, dispatchers, and the technology. Onondaga County uses mapping, databases, and imagery to find you, even if you're not able to speak. The system includes a confidence measure, which narrows your location within just a few feet. Most of the time, the vast majority of the time, we're pretty good on the location with what we're getting if you have a smartphone with GPS. Uh, we're not as spot on accurate, but we get, you know, sometimes it's uh, someone who's telling me about a call we got last night, which the person wasn't talking, but we were able to get within a four, couple feet of the person. So, you know, in that case, it was very accurate. The Dr. system had an upgrade last fall. They're ready to connect to next generation 911 technology, but also remain invested in their greatest asset, their people. The skill level of your staff to be able to harness the technology and, and actually find that person who's having an emergency. They're extraordinary. Um, this is a, there's only a very small population that I can do this job. I've heard estimates about 2%. Doing the job of connecting people in need to emergency help through ever-changing technology. More as far as fire station 4 area, reported house fire, stepping stone lane. Now, while Onondaga County is preparing for the next generation of technology, it's also doing an extensive review of the 911 Communications Center building. They're working on plans for renovations or construction to set up the center for the next 25 years. For well, new information tonight, the only man convicted.